the spiritual man walks by his faith and not by his sight. I'm going to explain some things to you. Everyone knows Brother Sherrod, our musician. I've heard that he was blind from childbirth. So I would have to assume that the only way that he can walk is by his faith. Amen. Simply because he doesn't have sight. Yes. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. Remember what the Bible says faith is. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. You can ask me the question, what does that mean? It means that if you have to see it to believe it, that ain't faith. The Bible says, blessed are those who have not seen and have yet believed. When you believe it, even when you don't see it, your faith wielded into existence. So I want you to know some things about faith because everything revolves around faith. And we're going to talk about it this morning. Faith is the one of the most important things that you will ever need in life. Everything, and I mean everything, revolves around faith. Remember, I just said, when you believe something without seeing it, your faith willed it into existence. Remember the word will. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says, now this is the confidence. The word now means right now. We're talking about faith right now, not tomorrow, right now, at this moment, at this instant. By faith, I'm believing that whatever's going on with Deacon Barnes, God is going to take care of it. That's all we got, y'all, is faith. I mean, we can't do anything about it. I don't know anything about it, but I know someone that does. And my faith in him is strong enough to say, okay, God's going to fix it. But 1 Corinthians 5, 14, 5, 15 says, now this is the confidence. The word now means right now. We're talking about faith right now, not tomorrow, but right now. Okay, now this is the confidence. The word confidence means faith. Now this is the faith the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, there's that word will we were talking about. We said earlier that if you believe it, even when you don't see it, and it happens, by faith you have willed it into existence. Now things are beginning to line up now, so we're we going to make sure we keep them in line. Now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So now, remember, we're talking about walking by faith and not by sight. Now, right here, if, if it says if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. You see, God himself walks by faith and not by sight. He walks by faith in himself. You see, the scripture just said that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. God doesn't have to see us, y'all. He hears us. He knows our voice. Then it says, if we know that he hears us, then it says, if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. In other words, you can have whatever you lack. Like. Y'all remember that rapper T.I.? You remember that song he said? You can have whatever you like. By faith, 
God is saying the same thing. It all revolves around faith. So y'all don't mind if I do a little rapping, do you? You know, I'm, I'm not a rapper. I'm, a, I'm more of a singer, but I'm going to attempt to do a little rapping, and I'm going to need y'all to help me because I'm a, all I'm going to need y'all to do is what T.I. did. said, you can have whatever you like. Y'all don't mind, do you? Okay, we're we going to do it a little bit. I, you know, I'm going to need my background with me, you know, so I, I'm, I'm not a rapper, you know. So, you know, if, if T.I. was saying it, he would probably say something like, more money, new car, new cash, new house. You can have whatever you like. Okay. Now, we know that T.I. said that. But do you know that the Bible said it first? See, I'll tell you that. The scripture for that would be Psalms 37, 4, where it says, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. That's just simply saying you can have whatever you like Amen. by faith. That's, that's what the Bible is trying to get us to understand. We can have whatever we like by faith. It just said if you delight thyself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. The Bible just said it. You know, we'll listen to other people. We'll take their word for it. Why not take his word for it? You know, that's what I live by, and that's what I'm dependent on. He's the only one to come through for me. So I'm dependent on him, too. You know, we've got some things. We've got a vision at this church right here. You know, if you're looking at the circumstances and the situation and the amount of people here to get us there, you may not see it. But by faith, if you believe the Scripture, that we just read, then we can get there with these people right here today by faith. See, all it takes is our faith to will it into existence to get us, to get us from one place to the next. And see, we're talking about what are you walking by? You know, I'm 59, but there are some others in here that's a little older than I am. They've been through more life experience than I've been through. And they can tell you themselves how they got where they are today. They had to walk by something, and I would imagine it had to be by faith. Yeah. Am, I, am I right? You know, if people sometimes, you know, ask, how does God speak? He doesn't speak in an audible voice anymore. Hebrews 1.1 said that God in Sunday time spoke to our fathers through the prophets but now speaks through his word, which is the Bible, but that's faith in action. Because we had already said, by faith we know that God will take care of whatever Deacon Barnes is dealing with. And that's him speaking, saying, it's already done. So we just heard him speak. He speaks through us. And he speaks through his word. Okay, if there's nothing else, we ready to dismiss. If you will stand and we'll pray our way out. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day. Father God, we pray that you increase our faith. So, Father God, that we may be strengthened to be an example to someone else. So they will come running saying, what must I do to be saved? Thank you for being God and for being God all by yourself. Forgive us of our sins. And Father God, just continue to bless us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. and amen.